everyone. I'm here with, um, for those of you who have been watching my blog from the very, very beginning, I used to do what I called uh, Misty's Movie Madness. Well, I want to do something like that right now, except I want to do a TV show. This is still on the air. It's called Impractical Jokers. It's basically about four guys pulling pranks on other people. It's, it's like a very, very mellow jackass, except it's a whole lot better than jackass. Seriously. Um, there's very, very few shows. People who know me know that I have ADHD, and it's incredibly hard for me to pay attention to any show. There are t three TV shows that I will actually stop what I am doing and watch. One is Shark Tank. One is Dancing with the Stars. And the third one is Impractical Jokers. Um, it's Brian Q. Quinn, Salva Cano, Joe Gatto, and James Murray. He goes by Murr. Um, Brian goes by Q. Um, this show is absolutely wonderful. No matter how many times I've seen the episodes, no matter how many times I've seen it, I've practically stopped what I'm doing, and I watch it, and I crack up just like it was the first time that I've, you know... I loved watching. They did it. They had a short run series called um, Joker's Wild. It didn't do very well because it was like a skit show, skit show kind of like a K and Peel type thing. Except it was, it was the four the four main men. It was a little. It was the Impractical Jokers. Um, it was a little strange, but I enjoyed it. But they canceled it after like four or five. I can't remember. It was either five or six episodes. I can't remember. But it got canceled. But Impractical Jokers has been on the air. I think this is our sixth season. So it's very, very exciting that this is still on the air. What I'm trying to figure out is these they actually go and they like prank people. Actual like like the like one <laughs> that I remember is they were at a restaurant and they had this big old bowl of potatoes and whoever put the most scoops on somebody's plate without them telling them to stop doing it got won the round. The, the round there's there were different rounds and if you lost it you got what well, you get what is called a punishment well a punishment you can you don't you, you cannot refuse to do or else you are off the show that is a pat that they made when they started in practical jokers um and they may be in like the fifth season or the sixth season anyway long story short the punishments <laughs> there was you know there was a, so they had this big old bowl of potatoes for that one and joe ran around goes come see potatoes like dropping it on everybody's plate and like they had to do different things like that um one they had to be a salesperson um one there were a gas station attendant and then they um somebody came in and threw water in their face and they had to explain why they threw the water in their face there was one where they were at the beach and Murr was trying to sell underpants i mean just all this <laughs> this this random stuff but some of the punishments cracked me up like um Joe got a one one time, and they he made the rest of the guys get freaking tattoos of his choosing. Um, he got Q got one, had to get one on his arm of um, a, a cat. It says um, thirty nine lives alone, has three cats, and then it's got a big old picture of a cat. Murr had to get a flying ferret on his on his. The, the thing is, they didn't know that what the tattoos were until the end. And then there was another punishment that I really liked where, like, Murr had to, like, get his nipple pierced. And and they have, like, a wheel of doom. And they have all this other wonderful stuff. This, this show kills me. I'm telling you. I'm actually going to go open this. This just came to my door, like, literally two minutes ago. I grabbed this. And I was like, huh, let's start back up on doing the TV show and movie reviews. So this is the complete second season. I got this off of Amazon for $15. Um, also, if you go to Amazon right now, they're running a special of the first season is like six bucks. So I got both of them for like 20 bucks. Anyway, y'all need to go check out the Impractical Jokers. I hope y'all watch. I hope you, the four Jokers are watching this review and know how much of a super fan. I'm not the only super fan out there. There are a ton of super fans. Anyway, I even ordered a shirt that had a quote from Q on it. Anyway, I'll, anyway. Before I get too um, fancy about it, y'all need to go check out In Practical Jokers. It's on True TV. Um, it's on demand on some things. Um, you know, 
AT&T U-verse has it on demand. Um, they've only got like the first and second season, I think, a couple from the first and second season. Um, we always t not t but we always uh, record it. Anyway, y'all go check out the Impractical Jokers on True TV. And until next time, peace.